Hey, and what's going on, everybody? It's me, Storm, and welcome to act, or welcome to another snapshot review. I know, I know, it's been a while, but I'm gonna make up for that because there's gonna be a whole bunch of snapshots in the coming weeks, and expect to see all bunch of those because 1.21 is looking really good right now. I just broke that block. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so this snapshot doesn't add much but what it does add is the crafter this uh was debuted in minecraft live and it's gonna be such a game changer because you can just take whatever put this in here and it shows you a preview of what you're about to craft right just pop a button down boom crafts it R -r 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 my god uh the crafter has the, also has these toggle slots so if you're feeding stuff into it say with a hopper then it will not be inputted like that and what's cool what i really like about this is is the the hopper doesn't just uh filter the items in via like how much how much of that item you put in but rather individually and i really like that uh, what's cool about the crafter is that it also holds the items, so if you wanted, you could just have nine stacks of storage right there. Of course, you could do the same with like a dispenser and a dropper, but it's still a pretty cool feature. And as a bonus, it kind of has a face, don't you think? Uh, here's a here's a statue I made to replicate that. Another functionality with the the crafter is that it allows up to uh, zero to nine redstone strength between them because uh, seeing as so you you put one item in right outputs a signal of one two three four all the way to nine but also toggling a slot acts as one redstone strength so see this is a signal of nine boom eight. And that's really, this is going to be really useful for stuff that require like a lectern or something. Say you don't want all 15 pages, you could just have this. I, 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 I broke it. And, so, and something pretty cool I know, I, I found out for myself is that you can be, they can be placed upwards. They probably be placed down too, right? Yeah, look at that. So you could just have it feed into a hopper and then into a chest, right? So say you want a whole bunch of carpets. Um, it's not what I meant to do. Oh, uh, lock the hopper, right? Say you want to see and now it outputted carpet, and now it it that's this is really good. I think you can also just like have it have it do have it do that, where. Yeah, that works too. Cool. And as you know, it's, it uh, has functionality with hopper on top, hopper on bottom, hopper on side, uh, and dispenser. Or dropper, sorry. Dropper. I keep getting those two mixed up for some reason. And, you know, it, it extracts them perfectly fine. And something interesting on the, on the snapshot article is this machine right here, which... I'm I'm fair, just judging by the images and the, the Fletcher villager being there, it's a uh, it's an auto stick crafter. So we unlock this hopper. All we gotta do is, eh, and it works. And then you can just keep trading with the the Fletcher guy, right? And this is actually really cool. Can't wait to see what uh, all the more experienced redstoners have to have to say about this. It's pretty rustic, but even even to my standards. But hey, if it works, it works. Now, more function. Another function we got going on with the crafter is that moving items in from another block, such as the hopper and the dropper, prior uh, pri prioritizes uh the the first empty slot so you put one thing in there boom oh huh. boom it only it always goes into this slot unless it's disabled right because then it'll go into the next one now if there are no empty slots around it 
it will uh, go to the next stack, right? Like like you saw, just one white wall, right? And then fill in, it'll become two. The Of course, if the slot is toggled, it, it'll be skipped, and the item will be moved anywhere else in the crafter. Now, what's interesting on the on the article is it says if the item cannot be moved, it will be ejected into the world. No idea what that means. I I tried filling it with like non-stackable items with swords, non-stackable items like swords. Sorry, but I don't I don't I don't foresee it. Uh, uh, uh come on! I keep breaking things. But I don't. I really don't know what that what what non-movable items will mean. Also, silly me. In my last snapshot review a month ago, you'll notice that I I said I couldn't get the extended trades to work. Well, that's because it's an experimental feature that I have to enable when creating the world. And since the cr world was created prior to that snapshot, I was a big old stupid. So yeah, I've learned from my mistakes. And of course, there was a whole bunch of whatever whatever a jigsaw pool Elias is and bug fixes and all that. If you, if you want to read all this, links in the description. But I don't I, I don't feel like reading all this. That is going to do it for the snapshots review of 23W42A. Uh if you enjoyed Hit the subscribe button. I know people hate it when YouTubers tell them to subscribe, but it really helps out the channel a ton. I'm trying to get to a thousand. If I could get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, I will. I'll do something. I'll 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 make a I'll make a. Ooh, here's what I'll do. I'll make a, uh. FNF song cover and but instead of just PNGs, I'll make it actually like a playable thing. Yeah, how about that? If we get to a thousand by the end of the year. Anyway, I'll uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye and happy spooky month. <laughs>